Hi, and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're working on a 2012, it's a Hyundai Santa Fe with a 3.5 liter engine. Uh, we're going to be doing some, just some basic maintenance today. Uh, I'm going to do all three of the items that is here for today on one video, so that way you don't have to bounce around from video to video to see. I'm going to change the oil, uh, I'm going to change the air filter, and I'm going to change the cabin filter. Um, it's fairly easy. This one here, the oil change is a little different than most vehicles. This one has a, uh, a, a canister filter that we need to remove the canister, remove the, uh, the insert, discard it, and uh, put the new O-ring on the canister the lid, put the filter in and put it back together. Um, so let's get up front. I'm going to show you what to do step by step when we'll get this wrapped up and out the door. Don't forget, wear your gloves because as you know, engine oil is no good for your skin and it's pretty messy too. So, uh, alright, let's get up there, I'll show you what to do step by step. Okay, as you can see now, we're underneath the car, and this is the, uh, the oil pan right here, and this is the oil drain plug that we're going to take out right here. Um, now, one thing I want to point out is that you never want to use an adjustable wrench like this on an oil drain plug. If you try to use an adjustable wrench, it may work, you may get it out, but on the other hand, you may just strip this out and then you're going to have a problem trying to get that drain plug out of there. So I, I recommend never using an adjustable wrench on an uh, oil drain plug at all. The only thing you ever want to use on an oil drain plug is you want to use a box end of a wrench to go on it like this so you have a perfect, it grabs it all the way around on the outside. You don't want to use, you never want to use the open end part of a wrench. As easy as it is to get on there, you don't want to take a chance because when you push on any wrench, it's going to start to strip it out. So you're either going to use the box end of a wrench or you're going to do what I always do and you'll see all of my videos are, are like this. I say 99% of them. I always use a socket to take it off. Almost every car I do, unless it's, unless it's limited space where I can't get in there, we use this to, uh, to remove the drain plug. So. All right, let me just uh, take this plug out. I'm going to let you watch me uh, uh, drain this out, and then we'll put that plug back in, and then we'll lower it down, and we're going to change that canister filter. So, uh, all right, let me just take that out, and we'll continue. Remember, it's always counterclockwise to take it out, clockwise to put it back in. So once you break the nut loose, then you can get up here, and you can take it out by hand. This one is a little bit tight. You want to, like I said before, you want to make sure you have your gloves on. And we'll just take this out. Make sure you have your bucket below to catch your oil. And then we're just going to let it all drain out. Now, when you take your drain plug out, um, a lot of times you should replace, or not a lot of times, you should always replace your, your gasket on the drain plug right here. Uh, because you don't want to take a chance with having an oil leak out of that. As, as much as you want to leave it in there and it looks like it's fine, change the, uh, the gasket on here. You'll avoid a problem with any kind of leaks. So uh, let me go in the back. I'm going to get a new gasket for this nut. And in the meantime, we're going to let that drain out. And once it finishes draining, we'll come right back. We'll put the plug back in and uh, then we'll lower it down and we'll, uh, we'll change the filter on top. So uh, let's let this drain out and we'll come right back. Okay, now that it, uh, it finished raining out, we're going to put the new plug on with our new, uh, our new gasket. And I want to point out that the gaskets, there's all different kinds. If you had a metal gasket on there, use a metal gasket to replace it. If you had a, uh, uh, one that's made out of a different material, plastic or whatever, make sure you use that kind. Now, they do have a kit that they actually have. It's actually all the different uh, size uh, O-rings. And, uh, and seals for the, uh, for the drain plug. So uh, if you go to your local PAW store, they should be able to hook you up with what, whatever you need. All right, so uh, all right, let's, uh, let's get this drain plug back in, and we'll wrap this up. Now, screw it in by hand, as tight as you can by hand, and then we're going to get up here with a ratchet, and we're going to tighten it up with the ratchet. Now, I'm going to need two hands to do this, so I'm just going to put you down over here, and uh, I'll continue. You don't want to you don't want to tighten it too tight and strip it out. So you get on here with a ratchet and just now 
tighten it up until it touches and then you just go a little bit tighter just so it doesn't leak and of course wipe off any residual oil and that's it we're going to lower it down now we're going to do that uh, the canister filter up top and we'll wrap this job up so all right let me lower it down and we'll continue okay now underneath the hood of the car truck in this particular case um, the uh, oil filter itself is actually down inside here so we'll need to take this off right here and uh, remove it you can use a socket for it uh, or you can use one that's actually made just for um, removing these filters it's a kit that they sell and you can use uh, it's, it's, it's the exact same thing except instead of being a real deep socket it's a very shallow socket so Just goes over the top like this and you can use a regular ratchet to unscrew it and again it goes counterclockwise to uh, remove it clockwise to tighten it and I'm going to need two hands to do it um, but we're going to take that off the new this is the new filter here that comes with it and remember I told you always change the o-ring with it the new o-ring comes with it also so we're going to take it apart and we're going to put the uh, the new O-ring on. So, uh, all right, let me uh, let me take it apart, and you can uh, see how it goes. Once you've unscrewed it, then you can pull it out. Let me just get a bucket to drain it in. Now, obviously, you can do this on the uh, on the ground. I just want to do it because uh, I'm sure how to do it. You lift the filter out. It is going to be dripping. So you're going to lift it up, put it over your bucket, and then we're just going to pull the filter out. Remember this piece right here. Pull the filter out, and then what we're going to do is you take off this O-ring right here. You can hook it with a scribe, you can hook it with uh, a screwdriver, whatever you have, and you can take it off like that and discard it. We don't need it. We're going to take our new O-ring now. And we'll put the new O-ring onto the housing. Just hold it onto the housing, hold it in the groove, and you just push it around. Like that. Make sure you're in the same groove that you came out. Right? You put a little bit of oil on it so it turns in there easily. And hey, what's up? Hey? And we're going to do is we're going to take our filter and we're going to this part of the filter here it's got to line up with the hole down inside there that it fits into and you'll feel it snap right in so you know you're in all the way and we just take our cover put it on the top like this screw it in by hand as far as you can and once you've gotten it down as far as you can by hand, then you tighten it up. Now, I want to point out that this is a plastic cover. You don't want to tighten it too tight. You just want to snug it down, and that's it. And the other thing you want to do then is you just want to make sure you wipe away any of the oil that you've spilled in here and that's it we're all set all right it's all the way down flush here so you know you're in all the way see right down on the side right there it's all the way down all right so you're nice and tight so uh, let's grab some oil put some oil in it and we'll wrap this job up okay now that we have the uh, the oil filter is done we're going to come over here to the oil drain where the oil cap is and we're going to make sure we put in the correct oil this calls for a 520, 
which is exactly what we're going to use. All right, now I looked it up on the computer and I know that this takes 5.49 quarts of oil, so I'm going to put in five and a half quarts and we're going to check it to make sure. Now, it says 520 and that's what you should use with it. Never, never substitute anything except what it calls for, the 520. Got a five and a half quarts in there. We're going to start it and let it run for a couple of seconds and then we'll shut it back off and check the level. Okay, if you let it sit for a couple of minutes, you take the dipstick out, you wipe your dipstick down. And you'll see on the dipstick where it's supposed to be, a minimum and a maximum. So we're going to check it and make sure we're closer to the maximum up on the very top here. All right, so we are going to add just a little bit more. It is a little bit short. So we're going to bring it right up to the full mark. Remember, it's much easier to put an extra half a quart in than it is to take a half a quart out. See, now it's right to the full mark where it belongs. All right, make sure when you uh, put your dipstick back in, you put the stick all the way back in as far as it can go. When you check it, you don't want to have the stick hanging out partially like that, obviously. Push it down all the way as far as it can go. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're just going to look underneath, make sure there's no leaks, and there's no leaks up on, this, on the filter area here, so we know we're in good shape. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the air filter right here, so... Uh, let me uh, put a different pair of gloves on and let's get started on that. All right. This is our new air filter here that we're going to be installing. And this is where your old filter is located. What we're going to do is we're going to pull these clips here off. This one and this one. Now you see a lot of this stuff on here and you're looking at it thinking you want to take that out of the way. Don't do it. You should be able to gain access just by pushing this back so you can, uh, you can get the filter out. So, uh, all right. Let me just um, do that and you can uh, see how it goes. push it back a little bit and we'll just try to get that filter out of there without removing the whole assembly if we can. If we can't we'll have to go further. I'm just going to pull this off to the side here. This little clip here we just get underneath it with a pair of needle on sliders or um, a screwdriver and you can just move that off to the side a little bit like that. And we'll just try it again from the back. Lift this up this way and we'll try to pull it out. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. This is probably still the original filter. So then we're going to make sure we put the replacement filter in the same way that this one came out. Not that it makes any difference. They're both exactly the same. And we're just going to push this back and we'll slide that filter all the way in. falls 
right back into his position right here. And then you just put this over the top, snap it in, snap it in, and reattach that wire that you previously disconnected. Now, if you can't pull this back far enough to get that filter out, you have two options. You can disconnect all this stuff here and remove it, this whole box here, but if you just push it back a little bit, you should be fine and able to, in order to get that filter out of it a little tight, but it will come out without having to take it apart. All right, next thing we're gonna go inside and we're gonna do that cabin filter and uh, we'll wrap this job up then. All right, let's get inside the, uh, the truck and we'll continue inside. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the cabin filter. And on this particular one, it's in behind the glove compartment. So we just need to open up the glove box here. And what we're gonna do is inside the glove box, we're gonna take out this clip here as well as that clip right there and the way you take these out is you just get underneath here with your finger and you just lift these up like this and you take them out all right now before I go any further with that I just want to show you on the side over here this small uh, clip that's on here we need to remove this from the vehicle there's two, two ways you can do it one you can get in here with a big screwdriver and just push it off like this or if that doesn't work for you you can get in here with a pair of needle nose pliers and you could squeeze it down slightly and get it to pop off in this case the screwdriver works perfectly so we're just going to let that hang just the way it is like that for now then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to lift this up here now if you can't get your hand in there to get that um, that clip off you can get in here with a screwdriver behind it like this just to get it to move a little bit so you can get in there. All right, now I'm going to lift the box up just a little bit and we're going to take that clip and we're just going to pull it out just like this and then we'll lower the glove compartment down so we can gain access to the filter itself and that is where the filter is located try to film this the best I can for you. I know it's a rough spot. Alright, now what you do is you squeeze this tab here and you pull it. And you squeeze this tab and you pull it. And we'll take this out like that. And then we just take this filter and you pull it out like this. And you'll notice quite a bit of debris built up inside here. This is probably the original one also. Now, you look on the side of the filter and you see the way the airflow is showing the airflow is going straight down. Make sure you put your filter in the exact same way. All right? All right, so we'll grab our new filter now. We'll bring our new filter in. As you can see, those arrows are wrong, aren't they? We need to actually turn this over like this so that it's the correct the correct way. All right, and then we just stick the filter back into its opening. And it just slides in. Push it all the way back in there like that. And then you'll take your cover that you previously removed, put it over the top like this. And then you push it, and it snaps in place there. And the same thing right here. You'll hear it snap in. All right, so now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to lift your glove compartment back up. And then we're going to put those clips in that we previously took out. And the way you do that, it's quite simple. You lift the glove compartment up just a little bit, put it in like this, and turn it, push it in here, and it snaps right in place. We're going to do the exact same thing now on the other side right here. You're going to put this in, you're just going to lift the glove compartment up just a little bit, slide it up, put it in like that, and lock it. And the last thing we're going to do 
is we're going to come over here and we're going to reattach this piece that we previously took off. You just push it and it will snap right back in where it belongs. Close your glove box, you're done. All right. Thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, or you have any questions about the job or the procedure or whatever, just drop me a line. I'd be more than happy to talk to anybody about anything. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.